it's you. What do you want, Bruno? Come on, Hot Lips. The boss wants to talk with you. What does he want? I am trying to do some business out here. I don't know. He said he wants to talk with you now. Now! Now! Oh, all right. Don't he understand that if I don't make money, he don't make money? out of making those bucks. I could be taking home all that money tonight. Yeah, yeah. Nice work, Bruno. Ah, this baby. Come over here. What do you want? Sit down. Let's talk. About what? You know what about. You've been holding out on me. Nobody holds out on Muggsy and gets away with it. Holding out on you? I wouldn't hold out on you. Besides, I'm too smart for that. Yeah, you're smart, all right. What's that? The water bills I found stashed in your dresser. It's mine! I saved it! Saved it for yourself, you mean? It's mine, I tell you. Correction, it was yours. Now it's mine. Little tramp, I'll teach you to cheat on me. Oh, I think Charlie knows how, boss. Shut up, Bruno. Come clean, hot lips. How many tricks did you pull last night? She does tricks? Of course she does, you idiot. Can you juggle these? Stay out of this, you big dumb lug. I just want to see her do a trick. <sighs> I've had it with you, Muggsy. Give me my money or I'll walk. Nobody walks on Muggsy. I'll walk straight to the police. I know plenty about you. Enough to put you up at the big house for a long time. I always knew you were too big for your britches. She ain't wearing no britches, boss. Shut up! You think because you're the best working girl I got, you can push me around? Well, I've had enough of your tricks. I haven't. I didn't even get to see your juggle. Shut up! All right, hot lips. This is it. You're finished. You mean... You mean... That's right. <gasps> Bruno. Yeah, boss? Reason. Ah! Not that, you idiot. Wipe her out. Ah! Not that, you big dumb lug. Blow her away. Don't you understand basic gangster lingo? I want you should make her sleep with the fishes. Uh, we ain't got no aquarium and she don't look very tired, boss. <sighs> I want you to kill her. Ah! Oh, why didn't you say so, boss? Just do it. You want I should do it with a gun? Or maybe I should strangle her. Ah! Or maybe you would like I should use the shiv on her. Ah! Never mind. I'll do it myself. Oh, no. What have I done? 
Oh. She killed her, boss. Real thorough, too. Oh, no, oh, Hot Lips, baby, I'm sorry. I've killed the thing that I love the most. Oh, there, there, boss. That's a good boss. It's okay. <laughs> what am I going to do? Call a funeral home? Another party. Dude, what is that? Human head. Who 
Where'd you get it? Homer at the morgue gave it to me. I'm going to use it for my research. It was mangled and burned in an automobile accident. Well, come on and join the party, guy. No, I really must get upstairs and come do my on. research. One beer, and I'm not going to take no for an answer. Come on. Well, if you insist. Edgar, Edgar, where you going, guy? Yeah, you get tight ass? Yeah, sometimes. He's okay, though. Mm-hmm. 
knowing you, Edgar, but what the hell am I supposed to do with that? Bite your nails for you? Oh, yes. <laughs> Sorry. Who are you? The coroner's report simply stated that you were an unidentified burn victim. Fred Watkins is the name. Showbiz is the game. Oh, so you were... are a performer? Don't tell me you never heard of me. Fred Watkins. Stand-up comic extraordinaire? Hell, kid, I played every first-class lounge in this town. Sorry, I don't get out much. Cozy little place you got here, so uh, what's with all the skulls and gross pictures? I'm a student. A biochemist. I used my biochemical knowledge to create the serum which returned you to life. Yeah, well... I'm not sure whether to thank you or curse you for that, kid. But this is the greatest scientific breakthrough the world has ever known. I'm sure you'll get a lot of recognition for that. But what good is it to me? I'm nothing but a head. Fred the head. It rhymes, but I don't like the sound of it. Yes, I see what you mean. I'll give you 10 cc's of this, and you'll soon fall asleep and be dead again. Oh, hold on a second, Frankenstein. Haven't I been through enough already? Dying's a big gig, if you follow me. Once is enough for anybody. Well, I thought you... Well, so I'm a little depressed. I'll get over it. You go around killing everybody that's feeling sorry for themselves? Certainly not. Good. Good. So, uh, what now? I guess we call a press conference or something, huh? No, not just yet. I need to keep you under observation for a while. To make sure the serum has no side effects. How bad could the side effects be? I don't yet know. Maybe I can get my old job back at the Tiki Torch Lounge. After all, I can still make people laugh. Yeah. On second thought, maybe I'll apply at the freak show. Edgar, where are we anyway? On the university campus. The Delta Epsilon Delta Fraternity House. Oh, get out of town. You're kidding me. This is incredible. I don't believe it. Delta Epsilon Delta? Dead? The deadhead? I'm an old deadhead myself in more ways than one now. But, you know, but seriously, deadhead, deadhead, deadhead. Drink. Yeah, yeah. I was a member of the Delta Epsilon fraternity at the University of Missouri. 
Hey, what's all that racket outside? Oh, the guys are having another one of their outrageous parties. Party? Party? What are we waiting up here for? Come on, let's go downstairs. Check it out. Do you think that we really should? With you and your condition and everything? Socializing is the best thing for my depression. Come on. All right. Let's go. You want to give me a hand? What's up, guy? Some party. Hey, Nick. I'd like you to meet someone. This is Fred the Head. He's a fraternity brother, too. Hiya. Pleased to meet a fella deadhead. Man, how you doing? Uh, is that a puppet? No, Nick. This is the human head I brought in earlier. I brought him back to life with my reanimator serum. So, how about a brewski? Man, are you serious? Maybe not. You got any gin? I think he's talking to me, Fred. Oh. I am serious, Nick. This head was dead until I injected it with my reanimator serum. Incredible. Awesome. You ain't so bad yourself, Tut. <laughs> and uh, how about that drink? Send it back to the morgue. Yeah. <laughs> Just a moment. I have something to say. I'm ashamed of the way you've greeted our guest. Yes, it's true. He's just a head. Nothing more. But he's human. He's got feelings just like you and I. How would you like it if you lost your body? Answer me that. Would you want to be cast out like some worthless appendage? Or would you want to be given a chance? A chance to prove your worth in humanity. I say it's a pathetic world we live in if a head can't be treated with common decency and allowed a sense of dignity. I'm ashamed of all of you. I'm ashamed to be a deadhead if this is the way you treat a fraternity brother. What do you say, gang? You mean the head's a frat brother? That's right. What do you say, so? Three cheers for the head! Deadhead! 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 Hey, hey, you know why uh, they put a fence around the graveyard? Why? Why? Everybody's dying to get in. What am I saying? What am I saying? Hey, hey, take my body, please. Ah. Wait a minute, I'll take hers. Hey, Blondie. Yeah, if I said you had a nice body, would you just give it to me? I need one, I tell you. Congratulations on your serum, Edgar. <laughs> hey, so long, Nick. Hey, man, good we to gotta see you. We got to go now. Yeah, Bye. take it easy. So see you guys later. See you later. Good to see you. So long. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank everybody. Yeah. Hey, great party, Nick. Hey, Fred, listen, it wouldn't have been the same without you, guy. Aw, oh, shucks. I think I could use a nap. Yeah, I know you could. Eh? Yeah, <laughs> me too. All right, guys, I'll see you guys later. Okay. Later. Later. Bye. Hey, see ya. Don't do anything I wouldn't do or can't do. <laughs> Thank you. 
go inside. What about this mask? Uh, we'll get it tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> oh, God! Oh, no! Trish, no! Edgar! No, Trish. What is it, Nick? Man. Oh, no. Trish! Trish, no. Is she... I'm afraid so, Nick. No. No! Oh, what's everybody so upset about? What about that reanimator stuff? Yeah, the reanimator serum. Will it work? There's only one way to find out. Let's get her into the house. Okay. I'd give you a hand, but, you know. Takes a moment to take the fact. What are you two looking at? Look at this mess. It's disgusting. This place looks like a pit sty. You want to be ashamed of yourselves. There ought to be a law against this slovenly behavior. I have never been so embarrassed. Is this the way you treat a lady? Edgar, what happened? Edgar, what's happened? An unforeseen side effect of the serum. The, the shrew syndrome. Shrew syndrome? Edgar, Fred's not like this. Fred is a male. Trish is the first female I've used the serum on. What are we going to do? Try and make her comfortable. I'll see if I can think of something to combat the side effects. Comfortable? You call this comfortable? I'd be more comfortable on a bed of nails. With this thing stuffed with scrap barn. And it smells like a barnyard. Don't you ever clean this place? I think I've got it. Then not a moment too soon. What's that? Hurry. No way, nerd. You're not poking me with that. Nerd? Hey, but she doesn't know what she's saying. Rejection, quick. No! Come on, Trish. Come on. Wake up. Wake up, baby. Come on. Come on. Nick? Edgar? What happened? I must have had too much to drink. about my head? I've got a terrible headache. God, Trish. Go away, shoot. Don't, don't you dare raise your leg. No, don't you do it. Don't raise, Edgar! Fred, I forgot all about him. In Reanimator Academy, Edgar Allan Lovecraft brought Fred the head to life with his miraculous Reanimator serum. When fate struck a mortal blow to Nick's girlfriend, Trish, Edgar restored her life with the strange serum. But the serum had a nasty side effect on females, turning Trish into a raving shrew. What was in the anti-shrew formula that Edgar concocted? Will there be further side effects? And what are Bruno and Muxy? For the answers to these and other amazing questions, watch Reanimator Academy 2, Hotlips Does the Campus, coming to a theater near you, contains material that may not be suitable for pre-teens.
notice anything funny about the way these kids are dressed? No. What? Hey, what do you got, guy? A dead body? What makes you see that, kid? Oh, nothing. Edgar's always getting that kind of stuff for his research. Yeah, it's, uh, for the kid, uh, for Edgar's research. Where is the little genius now, anyhow? He's up in the room. Go ahead. Thanks. We yeah. will. like a hunting accident. This looks like foul play. I'd better call the police. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Otherwise, Bruno here is going to have to get rough with you. She was murdered. You two killed her. You're a smart kid. You got a good head on your shoulder. And one over here, too. Who said that? I did. What the hell is that? Exactly what I was thinking when I was staring at your butt. You mind keeping your ass away from my face, pal? Can't believe what I'm seeing. What the hell is that? The name's Fred. Fred the Head. Wanna make something of it? Hey, watch the wisecracks. You better quit while you're ahead. Hey, get it? Quit while you're ahead? <laughs> 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 like I was saying, you're gonna bring Hopper back to life. I thought you said her name was Hortense. Yeah, whatever. Just do it. And if I refuse? You're too smart a boy for that, Edgar. It's a nice paternity house she got here. Be a shame if it turned up missing. And those little sorority sisters downstairs? Be too bad if they caught fire. You fiend! With a capital F, pal. Now, are you gonna do like I tell you? You little creep, come over here. I'll bite your navel. You shut up, otherwise Bruno is gonna play basketball with you. Yeah, I slam dunk real good. Hey, that was good, Bruno. Yeah, it was good. <laughs> Not that good. Like I was saying, are you gonna play ball with us? Or is Bruno gonna play ball with your little friend here? Well, I... Why does he look so gross? He was burned. Burned? Can I have your autograph? Sure, kid. What's with the autograph business? Don't you know who that is, boss? It's a famous rock star, David Byrne of the Talking Heads. Get serious. Now, college boy, your time is up. What's it gonna be? You 
suppose I have no choice. All right, I'll do it. But then I want you to go away and never darken my door again. My pleasure. Hold her steady. She may jolt when the serum takes effect. Nothing's happening. Give it a moment. You better be on the level with me, Doc, or else. Hot lips, baby! Don't you baby me, you little slime ball! Look at me! After I gave you the best years of my life! What am I gonna do with all these bullet holes, huh? Look at me! Why, you little shrimp, I'm gonna tear your tacos out! Hot lips, Doc, what's wrong with them? Side effect of the serum, the shrew syndrome. The shrew syndrome? Yes, it only happens with females. They become insufferable nags. I'm gonna punch you! Isn't there anything you can do about this, Doc? I'm gonna break your face! Oh, now, Hot Lips, you don't mean that. You're just being a, uh, a, uh... Shrew! And if the shrew fits... Shut up! Hey, hold her steady. Now prepare the anti-shrew formula. You! What are you doing, you little cry boy? You think you can fall me full of lead any time you want? Well, I'll teach you a thing or two I will! I'll gouge your eyes out! I'll fertilize you! Then what are you doing to an offensive working girl like me? You let me go! Let me oh, go! Oh. What's in the needle, Doc? It's the anti-shrew formula. Mostly Prozac, with a few other depressants thrown in for good measure. <laughs> Doc, do something here. Well, don't you ever threaten me with a needle again, you little pipsqueak. Whatever you say, Hot Lips, baby. And don't ever call me baby. <laughs> Where's my pocketbook? I'm taking the car! Oh! You big lug. What do I pay you for? Why'd you let it go? But you don't pay me, boss. Besides, she grabbed my nap. She's dangerous in this condition. I don't know. She's got spunk. I like a girl with spunk. Shut him up. Unhand that head! Yo! <laughs> Serves you right, you big ox. I've had enough of these shenanigans. We're gonna go get that broad under control before she kills somebody. Come on, let's go. You're right. Hurry, she's got a head start. Not only that, she took your car, boss. What? I said not only that, but... I heard you, you idiot. Shut up. You, you got any wheels? Yes. There's no time to lose. Hey, hey! What about me? Sorry, Fred. You're not taking that little smart ass, are you? Of course! Mind your own business, little Caesar. Why I ought to... Stop it! You need our help. You stop this nonsense. Fred's coming along. Four heads are better than three. All right. But no more of your lip. Gone. Wise crafts. Whatever. Come on. Hey, Edgar, where you guys going? Man, you're gonna miss a great party, dude. <laughs> Shotgun. No way, Shorty. You can't even see over the dash. You sit in the back with Bruno. But I call it, I got this. Will you two please stop this constant bickering? Fred, sit in the back with Bruno. All right, this time. Just watch where you sit, Eddie G, or I'll take a bite out of that lard ass of yours. Keep dreaming. Shut up! Okay.
Afternoon, ma'am. I see your driver's license. Why? I noticed you were spitting back. My God, what happened to you? And just what is that supposed to mean? Those holes in your face. Has there been an accident? Oh, that's just great. Every time you see a lady with a blemish, do you point it out? Do you like to point out people's pebbles? No, I just thought. Oh, you just thought. <laughs> or did you open that big, ugly puss of yours and put your big, fat, foot in it. I want your name and your badge number. I'm going to lodge a formal complaint. Listen, lady. No, you listen. I'm going straight home and call my attorney. Lady, I know it's the holes in your face. Sorry, so sue me. But oh, I intend to. <laughs> Big strapping man. Big strapping man trying to harass a defenseless woman. Hanging is too good for you. What are you doing, hiding behind the gun? What's the gun for? To hide your deep-seated insecurities? To hide your inadequacies? What's the matter? Can't get it up? Lady, I just want to see your license. Out of the car. Oh, so now you're going to order me around. If you think for one instant I'm going to stand here and let in this degrading manner, you've got another thing coming, mister. Give me the license. I'll give you more than that, pal. How about a knuckle sandwich? Is there any place in particular she'd want to go? I don't know. Maybe one of the usual street corners. You think she'd return to prostitution now? It's all she knows. Hey, Aunt Lips. Hey, baby, what's happening? Buzz off. Well, what's the matter, Hot Lips? Don't you remember me? Sure I do. You're shorty. Shorty? And six foot two? I wasn't referring to your height. Oh, that's real good. Yeah, you always had a real good sense of humor. Beat it. How's about a date? Are you deaf? I said get lost. Jeez, if you're not hustling, what are you doing on the corner? I don't know. Dingy broad. What is it? Your time of the month or something? You know, I don't come here to get insulted. I can get that from my wife. I come here for some head. Head job? Yeah, so how's about a little head job? I'll give you a head job. What's that up on the road? A head? Where? Yep, it's a head. Yuck. She's been here. We're on the right trail. Step on it. She's around here somewhere. I can feel it. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Aren't you forgetting something? You're not going to drive away and just leave that head in the street now, are you? Yes. Shame on you. That head can be reclaimed. That head can be reanimated and become a useful member of society. Why, look at me. Yeah, look at you. Let's dump him in the road, too. What do you say? No, boss. He's a good little guy. Listen to yourself. You nuts. I'm afraid he's right. We can't leave that head out there.
trailer heads all the way to my door. Got that needle ready? Yes. You think we need some backup on this? Kind of partial to my head. I'd hate to lose it. Chicken. Who stay out of this? You already lost your head. Body. Whatever. There's no turning back. We've come this far. Now we've got to inject her with the anti-shrew formula before she kills again. Okay, come on, let's go. Come on, Wilgo. Thanks, Bruno. Don't mention it. Bruno. again. Smart move. I may be dumb, but I'm not stupid. <laughs> ah! Oh, no. I shot Muggsy with the anti-shrew serum. I don't feel so good. Oh, my God. What next? going to take in Fred's nightclub act. Oh, yeah? Great. Hey, Bruno. Hey, Nick. How you doing? <laughs> Shall we go? Yes, sir. Thanks, Bruno. You didn't have to do that. You got to have first-class treatment. Now that you're a professor and all, I figure a professor should have a driver. No, maybe you're right. Somebody, sometime. Wish I had one. That's not a brontosaurus. That's an eggplant. 
I'll keep an eye out for you. They always like that one. So my dog lost his nose. How does he smell? Awful. <laughs> Well, it's time for me to head west.